Hello, my name is Philip, California Land Surveyor, and um, we're going to get into this real quick about um, how to read a, um, an engineer's tape. Many times um, people have questions about what does or what do our um, survey stakes say, and um, and you know, can we write things down in inches? And really, the short answer is no. Uh, it makes no sense for us to convert our stuff into inches when everything that we deal in is in decimal of feet. But decimal or feet are easy to figure out. The first thing everyone should do if you're on a job site and you have to deal with surveyors is get yourself an engineer's tape. An engineer's tape, they used to only be sold at, um, at uh, survey supply stores, but now um, I've seen them at Home Depot. And basically what they are is it's a um, pocket tape with um, decimal feet on top and inches at the bottom. Um, quick note, our one foot is the same as your one foot when it comes to inches. The only difference is that in inches, it's broken up into 12 inches equals one foot. Ours is, um, it's in tenths. So there's 10 tenths equal one foot. That's the only difference. Zero is the same. One foot is the same. The best way to think about um, decimal of feet is think about dollars and cents. So um, half a foot, I already have it written down here, half a foot would be 0 0.50. Think of it as half a dollar, so 50 cents. A, a quarter foot, 0.25, a quarter. You know, I've kind of written them down here. Um, some similarities when it comes to, to, to inches as well. So one quarter, when it comes to decimal of feet, one quarter would be like 25 cents, 25. With inches, a quarter of a foot would be three inches. So it's all saying the same thing and um, just, just written different. Half, again, 0 0.50, think of 50 cents, it'd be the same as six inches. Three quarters, 0.75, 75 cents, quarter of a foot, in, or uh, three quarters of a foot in inches is nine inches. It's all the same, just written a little bit different. Where um, where the difference is, is that we use hundreds. So there's a hundred hundredths in one foot. Um, so let's say a half a foot and you want to know where 56 hundredths was. Or, you know, let's say you saw something written down um, 1.56. Find it on here. Let's say this was the one foot mark. Um, there we go. Let's just say the one foot mark was over here. So you go one. 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The, five's gonna, the five line's going to be a little bit longer on all of them. But that's it. 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it. There's, to, to me, it makes no sense to try to convert hundreds back to inches because other than those three I showed you, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, and 0.75, nothing's an absolute so there's always going to be a little wiggle room but because we deal in hundreds use the hundreds these pocket tapes are cheap or um or at least take a picture um you can take a picture of a uh, pocket tape and here i'll hold the video like this for a little bit take a picture of it and then that way you'll be able to see um exactly you know the layout of uh of our engineer's tape um and again, it's uh, it, it makes no sense for 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 us to um, convert our work into inches when all of the information we're dealing with is in um, hundreds of feet. The only time again do we ever convert our numbers into inches is is with the architect's plans. If um, for some reason there's a grid line and um, and the dimensions are given in inches, then we have to adjust our measurements to fit with inches, but that's really the only time I've ever seen um, seen any type of conversion. Other than that, it's just easier to know how to read an engineer's tape, get yourself one, and then that way, you know, you see on a, on a lath uh, cut um, 153, you know, it's a little bit more than a foot and a half, and you know where to find it on your pocket tape, and um, to me, it just it just makes everyone a everyone a better worker if we know how to work with the other trades. That's it. 
Email me if you have any questions.